I'm John Ryan. I'm a dad, first and foremost. I earn my living as a comedian and a writer. I've got three children aged 15, 12 and 10. I also have a load of godchildren, nieces and nephews, and the children of my friends that I have an opinion on. I'm doing a show called Those Young Minds, which is about fatherhood, and trying to encourage guys to talk to other men about their experiences of fatherhood so that we can all learn and share. Because I feel that women have like the sisterhood of menstruation and maternity. And what do we have? Football and the Spice Girls, but not for their musical talents. I'm not one of them comics who likes to talk about their kids on stage because it's very personal to me. But for the benefit of this show, I thought it only right that I talk about my experiences as a dad and also about my own dad. So it was quite uncomfortable, especially with most comedy, you can make a frivolous remark. But with this, you've got to go, <coughs> got to be sensitive. I think that you're a boy till you become a dad. You're just a man, you can have a nice car, nice house, nice material things, but you have nothing. Becoming a dad, that's where it's all at. The morning my eldest son was born, I think I got up at five in the morning and decided I would clean up. I'm, I'm convinced I had pains in my hip, right? I think that I was experiencing empathetic labour pains, although she says and it wasn't that at all. I'd been playing football the day before and I probably just pulled a muscle. The most amazing thing about childbirth is looking at your wife's or partner's toilet parts and realising, I never knew he could do that. It's like when you've got a computer and you think, well, I know I had to like, send email, uh, but I didn't know he could do that. And I saw this thing appear. Oh my goodness. I figured we'd have a good career in shoplifting after that. My best dad moment was um, completely unexpected. One thing you don't realise when you become a dad is that you're going to have to get involved in sports days and dad things. Right? And we practised for the dad's five-a-side competition in my back garden with a six-year-old, a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And we passed the ball around and we had a garden gnome in goal. And we'd get a goal and we'd do a little dance. Come the day of the dad's football, of course, I scored a goal uh, when, you know, in Alan Shearer style. My kids were on the touchline going, come on, daddy, do it. And I had to do the whole dance in front of the whole parent body. And then after that, of course, the dads made me take all the penalties, kept passing the ball. Any chance of a goal, they deliberately give it to me. So that they go, go on, do the dance. We all do that. I still get goaded about that nine years later. I don't think being a good dad is about living with your children or living with their mother. It's about having a desire to spend time with them. And it's about having a desire to let them know that they're loved. You can be anywhere in the world, make a phone call, write a letter, send a card. Turning up at a school assembly to listen to your daughter playing an out-of-tune recorder for five minutes is a memory that you cannot put money on.